In 1983, researchers located the genetic region associated with Huntington's disease. Ten years later, they identified the gene responsible and they discovered the exact mutation. This gene was named HTT and the protein it produces was called Huntington. We read genetic instructions a little like the way we read a book. The genetic alphabet has four letters, A, C, G, T, called bases. Every gene is written in a series of three bases that are called triplets. In the HTT gene, a triplet of the letter CAG is repeated several times. In individuals affected with the disease, the number of times this triplet is repeated is abnormally high, keeping the protein it produces from functioning normally. This protein even appears to be toxic to brain cells. A genetic test can count the number CAG triplet repeats in each of the two copies of the gene. If both copies have 26 repeats or less, this person will never have Huntington's disease. If a person has one copy with less than 26 triplets and the other copy with 40 triplets or more, then this person will develop the disease. Furthermore, each of his children will have a 50% risk of inheriting the disease. Beyond 60 repeats, it is the juvenile form of the disease and the symptoms appear before the age of 20. In general, the higher the number of CAG triplet repeats, the earlier the age at which symptoms appear. However, current knowledge cannot predict the exact age at which the symptoms will appear or their severity. Furthermore, two people with the same number of repeats may start showing symptoms at different ages. The number of triplets stays identical throughout a person's lifetime, but it may vary when it is transmitted to the next generation. The descendant may receive an increased or more rarely a decreased number of triplets. For unknown reasons, this variation occurs more often when an affected father transmits the gene.